details tonight about what led to a woman's murder in Daytona Beach. Investigators tell us that the woman and her husband got into a very heated argument. Well, she's Pamela Combe. Joins us live from Daytona Beach right now. And Pamela, it appears that the wife actually tried to warn her family in the moments leading up to her death. Yeah, she did. Police tell us that when the woman and her husband were arguing, she called her parents asking for help. We imagine to help defuse the situation. But by the time they got here, it was already too late. It came as a shock to the couple's friends and family. It was like loving, I'm talking about real love. I didn't, that's why I said it was like so crazy that it happened. According to police, a Daytona Beach couple got into an argument Thursday evening that led to the husband shooting his wife and later himself. Chantel Atkins was the husband and his uncle is still in disbelief. Right now, I don't believe it happened that way. You know, just because knowing them and who he was, and uh, who she was, I just don't, I don't know. It may have happened, but I'm not sure. Police say when the argument escalated, the woman called her parents and asked them to come. Her parents rushed over, but before they could make it, police say Atkins fired his rifle. Shawanti Atkins died in the house. She was found near the front door. I get the mother. It ran out in the road and she was waving to the police officer. Theodore Carter heard all the commotion. He was just as shocked as Atkins' family to hear the house this all happened in. I be seeing all the time. I speak to him. I, I slow down a little bit and say, hey, how you doing? So the guy was a real good guy to me. Chantel was found in his front yard. After he shot his wife, Chantel shot himself in the chest. He was taken to the hospital. He survived, but there's still no update on his condition. Now, families and friends are left wondering what went wrong. We would never know. The only thing we could do is try to piece together a puzzle, a puzzle and try to come up with the answers for it, but... Armstrong tells us that the wife had a daughter that she and her husband raised together, but we don't know where she is at this time. And now we did reach out to police for some more details on what happened and a status update on the suspect, but we're still waiting to hear back. In Volusia County.